the academy for Fenerbahce. Great club in Turkey. A dribble drive to the hoop and a layup for Clintman. Clintman has all six points for Europe. And Donnie, how about Gaston Santiago Arce? And, and Junior NBA, and I think where it's going with the World Championships is that they're learning American basketball, but also the American teams are going to learn some European basketball. Clintman scored all the points. Olavidze misses the jumper, the three-pointer. Team Europe now one of nine from deep on threes. A steal for South America. The shot clock is off. They'll still push it. And it's the nice. up and under for Argentina's nice. Lucas Fresno. Pretty finished, man. The rebound was dug out by Svoboda. And then Clintman going in for a very contested shot inside. He's trying to do whatever he can to keep his team in the game. And I think you give him a pass. I mean, he's your star, right? Yep. He, you want to see your stars maybe take a tough shot here and there. That's just the second three-pointer made for Team Europe. It's Joseph Svoboda. We'll put them over the limit, and Team Europe will shoot free throws for the remainder of the second quarter, as Clintman was just off target on a jump shot. So he is human. Going he into the backcourt. He does Ooh. miss. Only two shots missed so far for Clintman. A loose ball is dug out. There's Fresno, another pretty finish. Very nice. Show, Show it and finish. <laughs> But he seemed like he had it well thought out. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Yes. <laughs> Guys really been impressed with whenever Fresno's gone to the basket. He showed a variety of ways to finish. Second try is missed by Italy's Mattia Durante. But then on the follow and one, Yigi Usal from Turkey with the score for Team Europe. And, and now you're starting to hear coaches talk about he's coachable. How about Svoboda oh. speaking of him with the steal in the yeah. corner, but Team Europe loses it. Eric Chime has the only basket for Team Europe here in the third quarter, and that's the first basket since halftime for Team South America. It's Lucas Fresno showing off that ability on FS1. Three-point try, Luca Olavice off target. Nice pass. And out in front of the defense, and it's Fresno again, Lucas Fresno. All around the hoop, a huge number of offensive rebounds, but they can't cash in, and after that offensive rebound, they lose the ball. They gamble and go for the steal. Demu missed on the chance for the steal. It left Lucas Fresno with an open lane to go to the basket, but he missed the layup. Now it's Yigi Usal inside. Left it short, put back. Oh. It rolls out for Demu, but that one goes in. Two-point game on the putback by the Yigi Ali Usal. The streak is broken. The streak is broken. And understand, you're in control right now. You have the lead, so you can, you can get down on the clock, into the clock, and then get a shot up. You don't have to shoot early in the clock. Another three! The string music on the three-pointer back-to-back for Team Europe. They've come to life at just the right time. That was Iman Wheel Dimu with the three. They press to the backcourt in a steal. Clintman to Eric Chime for the lead. No good on the three-point try. Still a two-point game. From the east side of London, not a West Ham fan. He's a Chelsea man. <laughs> I told us before the game. He said, be clear. 0 oh, for 2 on the line. South America is going to win this game. Five seconds left. Arce, who's been an animal on the boards, comes away with a loose ball, and that will do it. It's all over. And Team South America, with what I would think their coach feels like based on what he told us before the game, is a surprising win. Hard fought. 44-39, the final over Team Europe.